Federal Reserve just cut interest rates by half a percentage point. It's a significant change after keeping them high for over two years to control inflation. This decision should make borrowing cheaper for Americans. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell believes inflation will keep decreasing. Our patient approach over the past year has paid dividends. Inflation is now much closer to our objective, and we have gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 2%. The recent rate cut is the first one in over four years and shows the Fed is now concentrating on improving the job market. And the rate cut will help with credit card debt, new car loans, and new mortgages. Financial analyst Phil Flynn joining us now to discuss some good news here today, Phil. But tell us how this is going to have a, an impact on our pocketbooks immediately. What are we going to notice? Well, we're already starting to notice it, believe it or not, Sylvia. You know, the recent housing data shows there's been some pent-up demand. You know, housing sales were really down for a long period of time uh, because rates were high, real estate was slowing, building was slowing, but we're already seeing that optimism start to crack in. But it's not just housing. I mean, it's your credit card debt. It's going out to buy a new car. All those rates are going to come down. You know, the big question is, did... Um, what what the Fed do today, is that going to be sustainable, right, for the long term? You know, the market got a whopper point more than they were hoping for. But sometimes when you get more than you're hoping for, you start to question whether or not the Fed's behind the curve. And that bigger than expected rate cut might be signaling that the economy might be a little bit worse than people feared. And Phil, I just mentioned, too, the Fed is now concentrating on improving the job market. Will this or how will this impact the job market, which has been slowing down? Generally, when you have lower interest rates, businesses have more money to spend on employment. And, you know, one of the concerns about the Fed, crazy enough, you know, at the end of COVID, they were worried because they couldn't find enough workers. It was driving up inflation. It was driving up wages. So they wanted to slow the jobs market. But last month's jobs market means that it may be slowing too fast. It was a real disappointment. It missed expectations. So now the Fed is kind of like, we've got to reverse course here a little bit. So we're going to not just cut rates by a quarter, we're going to do it by 50 basis points. And that's to avert what we saw in last month's jobs market was faster than expected slowing. Okay, so what do you think the plan is going forward? Do you think that we're going to see additional rate cuts in November and December? Because as you said, can they sustain this? This is just the beginning, right? They've already signaled that they're going to be lowering rates maybe by another 50 basis points by the end of this year. So that either means two quarters, another whopping 50 basis point cut, and they expect the rate cuts to go into next year. And really, that's what we want to see. We want to see the rates start to come back down um, and, and, and not cause inflation. And if they can pull that off, then Jerome Powell should get a uh, at least a free pizza from somebody because they did a really good job. Uh, Phil, get out your crystal ball for this question. Um, what does this mean yeah. when it comes to the future uh, with inflation and the talk of a possible recession? Is this a good sign? Are we out of the woods yet? Not even close? I, I think it's a sign that it's getting better, but it still might be a rocky road. And, and I think it's going to be day to day with this economy. We're going to have to watch very carefully this job market, make sure it doesn't decelerate. We're going to have to look in, at inflation very carefully, because if this rate cut causes prices to start jumping back up, then the Fed might have to reverse course and take away what they gave us today. You know, today was like getting a bigger slice of pie than expected. You don't want to get a big slice of pie and have them take it back a little bit mm -hmm. later. Yeah. Now I'm hungry. You talked about I know. pizza. I'm, I want some pizza pie. now, too. Yes, Amen. thank you. <laughs> okay, always a pleasure guys. to talk Thanks. to you, Phil.